you sign your employment contract it is important to make sure it is from the ministry of resources the ministry of human resource and emeritization before you get excited maybe you have just gotten hired it is important you check your approved contract from the ministry of human resource hello and welcome back to my channel my name is shafiq if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe if you are a returning subscriber a returning viewer i kindly thank you for the continued support now if you have just gotten employed if you have just gotten a job in the united arab emirates you have to really be very careful and today i will take you through the ministry of labor the ministry of human resource and emeritization website there are quite a number of services that you can avail free of charge by the ministry of human resource and emeritization in the united arab emirates i urge all foreign expatriate workers all workers in the uae to always make use of the ministry of human resource and emeritization website there are a number of services that are free of charge that you can always use in case of in any problems now the ministry of labor the ministry of human resource and emeritization has put a number of restrictions, a number of regulations a number of rules and regulations that regulate the relationship between workers and their employers if you have any problem with your employer if you have any problem with your employee you can always run to the ministry of labor and it can always solve your problems without any damages and the services are always free of charge now the ministry of human resource and emeritization has put a number of services that you can always avail free of charge on the ministry of on its website depending on the device you are using i'll show you how you can avail how you can use make use of the services today i'll show you the mobile version you can always use a desktop a computer it is always the same procedure now depending on your web browser that you are using you will go to ministry m o h r e which is the ministry of human resource and emeritization dot g o v dot g o v dot a e dot a e this is the website for the ministry of human resource and emeritization in the united arab emirates you can always make very important use of it <clears throat> now when you open that website mohre.gov.ae you will go to inquiry services or you can go to this the second one that is in arabic by default this website is in arabic but you can always change the language you can always change the language at the top at the top most here the right the right top corner the top right corner you will see english then you can click english and then the website will be uh, the website will now display in english now it has a number of sections as you can see this is the ministry of human resource and amortization at this the right top corner the top right corner you can make an account or you can register yourself and you can always sign in now it has the settings the settings section this is now the full website it has the settings section this is how it displays okay 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 so at the titles panel here the titles pen at this point you have about us which is about the ministry you can see about the ministry of human resource and amortization you can see the ministry strategy the minister the organizational chart 
and all those services now you go to the laws and regulations you can get a copy of the laws you can download the pdf you can get the resolutions now at the services section at the services section this is where you have uh, at the services section this is where you have a number of uh, uh, a number of things under the services we have the service directory the partners services the technical support for clients the merchant portal labor accommodation we will go through all this now you can go to the media center also you can always get the news the events the uae theme of the year the photo gallery and a number of uh, other things you have the digital participation where you can participate in uh where you can participate in a poll you can contact the minister the social media and all those under the digital participation we have the open data section open data it gives you statistical reports it gives you free data open that you can always use for your own consumption the open data policy this is now the open data policy the bayanat.ae propose or request data you can always request for a number of data that is available free of charge at the last section we have contact us you can contact the ministry of human resource and emeritization at any given point in time now at this point you have the laws and regulations uh, this is not very important only that i would urge all of you all the workers in the uae to always make use of the laws you can read through and get to know your entitlements as a worker and your obligations as a worker now at the lower section at the down section you have the call center number which is six zero zero five nine zero 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 you can always call that number it's toll free free of charge you can always call it and you can make any inquiries now this is where we have the social media handles facebook twitter youtube instagram linkedin and all those number of services at this point you can get the newsletter subscription you can enter your email address you will always get the news to your email address free of charge at this point the lower part we have the app download these are the links where you can download the ministry of human resource and emeritization or the ministry of labor applications in the app store which is free of charge and in also the google play store it is also free of charge this is a quick take through the ministry of labor website the other one is the online chat you can always chat with an official from the ministry of labor now as an employee as a worker in the united arab emirates your section of interest should be the services section you have to get to know how you can make use of the services section under the services section we have service directory partner services technical support labor accommodation merchant portal you can view your approved contract all people working for companies that subscribe to the ministry of labor you will always get a copy of your approved contract online you can get the inquiry services you can also get the taqim before emeritization now under the services directory we have in we have uh, first of all we have the view approved contract you can always view a copy of your contract online you can search by transaction you can search by personal details if you already have the contract you can check your transaction number it is all it always starts with st o m o m b st for example I'll make a quick uh, illustration for you guys here so you can see how to make use of this then you can enter your personal uh, details your passport number this is now for people who already have the contract with them or the ministry offer letter 
The ministry offer letter is different from the, min the offer letter. An offer letter and the ministry offer letter are quite different, but they are all official documents. Before you get excited about your new job, it is always important you make sure you have the ministry offer letter. You can enter the capture Y seven F view my contract. When you enter your data very well, you will always get a copy of your contract that you can download free of charge at this point or you can just view. This is one service that you can avail with the Ministry of Human Resource and M Okay, so at this point, after viewing your the copy of your contract, then you can go back. How do you even go back from here? Uh, okay so you can come back that is how you can view a copy of your contract now this is the domestic worker system uh, the domestic worker system you can change the website to english the a number of services that you can avail as a domestic worker this section is important for employers that would like to bring a foreign worker uh, in the UAE for example housemaid nanny this is the section for employers who want to bring and apply a work permit for foreign domestic workers you can always make important use of it you can register an account and then you can log in from your account then you can have a number of services free of charge to you okay so still under the services section you can have inquiry services you can have inquiry services at this inquiry services hello hello wanji Eh, bang kubi dewa. Mbagambi wano mezi ya divocha waya achikumi. Mpulide nga gamba vocha. Mbagambi sende. Eh. Tana, uh, nkubi dewa kubi zisina wa bawa location. Okay, so under the inquiry services, under the inquiry service, you can make use of a number of services. Now, this section is for both the employers and the employees. You can apply and check application status, company information, abscond approval for employers who would like to file absconding case for their workers. You can get abscond approval from here. Uh, but as employees, your interest will be in how to print an electronic work permit. You can print your electronic work permit here or you can make an uh, inquiry for job offer. Thank you for watching. That was a quick take through the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritization website. You can always come and check it out. There are a number of services that can be availed free of charge. You can go to the news section, media center. You can go through the news, the latest updates. You can get to know the labor market magazine. That is a quick take through the Ministry of Human Resource and Immortalization. I urge you all, for those who have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. There are a number of services, there are a number of uh, things you will get to know from our channel. Thank you for watching. Let me say goodbye to you all.